This is Dimitri Lascaris reporting for the Real News Network from Montreal, Canada. As has been widely reported, the Earth is at the start of the sixth mass extinction in its history. Major losses in larger animal species that are relatively easy to study have already been documented and widely reported. But insect losses have received less scrutiny and attention, even though insects are by far the most varied and abundant animals, outweighing humanity by 17 times. Now, a new study has concluded that more than 40% of insect species are declining and a third are endangered. That rate of extinction is eight times faster than that of mammals, birds, and reptiles. The total mass of insects is falling by a precipitous 2.5% per year, according to the available data. Now here to discuss this new study with us is one of its co-authors, Dr. Francisco Sanchez Bayo. Dr. Sanchez Bayo is an ecologist working on the impact of human activities on ecosystems. His specific, specific field is exotoxicology, the study of impacts caused by chemicals on organisms and ecosystems. He joins us today from Sydney, Australia. Thank you for coming on to The Real News, Dr. Sanchez Bayo. Thank you for having me. So I'd like to start by inviting you uh, to talk to us briefly about what you consider to be the most important uh, aspects and findings of this study. Well, uh, it's basically what you just reported, so that about 40%, in fact, 41% on average of all the species that we know of insects are declining right now. And about one third, third of them are threatened with extinction, probably in the next few decades. And on top of that, we know through uh, three different reports that the average uh, uh, rate of decline in biomass of all the insects in different parts of the world, in Puerto Rico, the United, United Kingdom, as well as Germany, is very similar. It's about 2.5% per year, which means that uh, in about 100 years from now, uh, practically all the insects will be gone from the Earth. That's a, r a really shocking finding uh, that probably very few people knew about. And then what we have tried to do in our study is to put together all this data that was lost in many scientific journals um, that were only available to the experts and the specialists in entomology and try to bring it to the public, to the general public, to people involved in conservation issues and as well as to the general public. And so your study leads to the conclusion that at current rates of decline, if they persist, the Earth will essentially be insect-free within about a century. Well, there will always be a few <laughs> insects yes. that will survive, that's, obviously. That's why I said But yes. basically... Yeah. Yes. So, so you think. know, as I'm sure you know, uh, many people in the world seem to uh, view insects as a nuisance and expend significant resources, you know, through the use, of example, for, uh, of pesticides and other... Uh, devices and technologies to uh, kill insects. Why yeah. should ordinary yeah. human beings be concerned about these rather uh, stunning uh, findings from your study? Well, because first of all, yeah, people are concerned that way because uh, we only see the nuisance pests that you see, the flies, the cockroaches, and in the agricultural fields, uh, we only see the pest uh, species. But well, you have to remember, for, for every pest species that we may get in a crop, there are about 20 or 30 different uh, um, insects that are beneficial. There are predators, there are parasitoids, and there are others which are simply, well, they don't cause any harm or any, any good. But uh, all of them have essential roles to play in the ecosystems. Nothing is superfluous here in the biosphere, in the on the earth. So among the most important um, ecological roles that insects play is, for example, pollination, nutrient recycling and purification, uh, and also providing food to a large array of vertebrates, from birds and bats to uh, lizards, frogs, and even fish in, in freshwater ecosystems. So all these essential services uh, will go, and, and with them, uh, if they go, we will go the fertility of the soil, the, the, the capacity of producing food for ourselves, because 70% of the, the, the food we eat it requires pollination by insects. And um, and of course, all the animals that depend on these insects as the food source will go as well. And you mentioned pollinators, and I want to focus on uh, one uh, uh, type of pollinator, uh, in particular bees. 
What is yeah. the current state of bee populations around the world? You know, are they declining as rapidly as some reports have suggested? And how do you think their extinction would affect uh, the food supplies? Yeah, uh, well, I think I mentioned um, partly uh, your, your answer about it will affect about 70% of the uh, food items that we have at the moment, the different crops that we eat. So we'll end up eating only cereals that don't require pollination and a few other crops like that. But all the fruits and most vegetables, uh, we won't be able to eat them because they require the pollination by bees. And when I mean bees, it's not just the honey bees that probably you are thinking of, but also the wild bees. Um, Bees are not declining any faster than the other groups. Uh, in fact, they are not as uh, declining as fast as butterflies or, or many um, uh, beetles, uh, in particular the dung beetles, which seem to be the ones that are the most, uh, most at risk at the moment. But still, uh, it's a big proportion. For example, in, in Europe, about half of the species of bees uh, are declining right now. I don't know exactly in Canada how many how many of the proportion, but yeah, it's very similar, you know, worldwide. Mm -hmm. And finally, what lifestyle recommend uh, changes do you recommend that we make, and what policies do you recommend governments adopt in order to halt uh, this rather alarming decline in insect populations? Well, one thing I forgot to mention before is we, together with the numbers that we collected from 73 uh, surveys and worldwide, uh, we also analyzed the drivers of the declines and what was really affecting the different groups of insects. There are many drivers. We selected about 13 or 14, and we put, put them together in four main groups. And the main driver behind the decline seems to be habitat loss which is due to a combination of three major factors, agricultural uh, expansion and intensification, uh, urbanization and deforestation. Um, the second major factor is chemical pollution, and that's due not just to industrial chemicals, but also um, uh, fertilizers and pesticides. Now, it's interesting that fertilizers and pesticides are mostly used in, uh, with, in agricultural settings. So agriculture as a whole is the major uh, uh, impacting factor because it's, it Im involves habitat destruction as well as chemical pollution. And those two factors combine uh, the driving most of the species to extinction. So if we want to um, uh, stop this rapid decline, we should focus our, all our efforts in the main drivers. And as I say, agriculture is the main one. So perhaps what we have to do, and we have recommended in our, um, in our conclusions, is to change the way we are uh, carrying out agriculture at the moment. And there are many ways that, that this can be done. So it's not just one specific way. But basically, it all uh, consists in making agriculture agriculture sustainable. Uh, so where we consider the beneficial insects, the pollinators, as part of the system, we don't eliminate them. With the current system uh, where we use insecticides from the day of planting because they are recovering the, the seeds that are planted, with that we are eliminating all the insects, good and bad, and that's not, that's not good. So we lost... We lost all the beneficial insects, all the pollinators, and all the parasitoids that help in the first place to stem the outbreak of pests. And, and, and all the other insects that are in the soil that do the recycling of nutrients. So we are really, uh, we have to change that. We have to go back to integrated pest management uh, procedures and implement them to the full and recover that sustainability that has been in agriculture for centuries and millennia. We are losing that right now with the new system. Well, we've been speaking uh, to Dr. Francisco Sanchez Bayo about a new study showing a precipitous decline in global insect populations. Thank you very much for joining us today, Doctor. Thank you for having me. And this is Dimitri Lascaris reporting for the Real News Network.